Broski Broskies, this is Zach Cloud playing some more Plants vs. Zombies. <laughs> Let's get going. You know, they used to call me the Fog Man. Because I would hang out in the fog and jump out at people. Ah, those were the days. Oh boy, it's not only night missions, but foggy. So I won't be able to see what's coming. Okay, so we've got our little freebies here. Uh, uh, let's see. We got these guys. And let's go with what little we can afford on the side. Although I probably won't end up being able to use them. I'm trying to make sure I didn't forget anything. Okie dokie. Nope. Yep, we got all this fog here now. Which is gonna make this tricky because we aren't gonna know which lanes people are coming into and what's ahead. So the best thing I can do is just try to, you know, reinforce everything as much as I can as soon as I can. Hopefully it's one of the lanes that's already in forest. Okay, at least we got them all now, and it's the top. Okay. Just gonna have to cover them as much as we can. Uh, in the meantime, I've been really busy uh, moving. Like, not all the way moving. I'm still mostly living with my uh, brother-in-law and my sister in a kind of suburban area. But my mother and uh, my younger brother are moving from out in the way country on 78 acres in the woods to suddenly a suburb. And uh, it's quite a shell shock, needless to say, for, especially for my brother, Silverbolt Coyote. Uh, but uh, there's going to be a lot more opportunities out there and stuff. It's just that it, you know, comes at a bit of a price when you're used to living out in the middle of nowhere and then suddenly you have neighbors. And I'm debating on whether to move there with them or not. Uh, I definitely will be visiting them and uh, taking advantage of the opportunities the city gives. But uh, I'm not entirely sure if I want to actually live there or not. A psycho guy up there. Hopefully these guys will be able to kill him or else he'll explode and take out a whole bunch of mushrooms. Phew. I'm not sure what dictates when they explode, but it's never a good thing when it happens. Get more of these guys filled out here. want to keep it pretty far to the left so that I it gives me more time to put reinforcements in the back when I see something big coming. It helps be an indicator, basically. tell by the sounds that that was a cone head that we got him taken care of now. Replace the one that was lost. Um, along with uh, trying to get ready and move, this guy's a bit of trouble. But along with that, I've been uh, trying to find more music to listen to on the long trips over there, because it's a three-hour trip, uh, close to four hours. Oh, final wave already, that's good. But yeah, close to four hours trip from where I live to there. Oh, there's quite a bit coming. Top water lane might be in trouble. Still quite a bit before Sea Shroom comes up. Oh, geez, what the heck? Okay, gonna have to spend some money here. Um, sorry about that. 
about that. My sister didn't realize I was recording. <laughs> oh boy. Come on, guys. Take him out. I know I've got pool cleaners, but like I say, I, I always prefer to actually take them out. Ah, scaredy shrooms too scared. Might as well just hurry this up then. Ah, uh, this. Somewhat useful and affordable, but it's like, do I want to spend my money on it though? It helps you see through the fog. It clears it away, in other words, if you set it in the right spot. Oh, we're gonna have football players. This is gonna be really tough. Uh, let's see, let's see. show on the road. While I'm setting up, I'll talk about the fact that I, uh, you know, was looking for some extra music to play on the trip uh, to help while away the hours. And I found myself actually being a little nervous about looking up artists where, like, I've liked some of their songs. And but for some reason I was afraid of looking for more songs by those artists. I guess it's because I was worried I would be disappointed that some of the songs wouldn't be as good as the other songs I've had of theirs. Like, I was afraid they couldn't live up to some of those songs. And, well, in some ways I was right on some of them. Uh, it's like sometimes I hear a song by them that's just too good and makes the rest of them not sound as good. Uh, like Blind Guardian. I'm having a hard time finding a song better than Bright Eyes or the, uh, or, uh, what's that other one called? The one about the Crusades. Uh, I can't think of it right now with this music going on in the game. But, uh, yeah, they, they have several others that are pretty good, but just not as good to me. Uh, uh, and then Within Temptation, it, it's, they, they had, like, this really weak album, this one of their latest ones, where they did a bunch of covers of other people's songs, barely any of their own. And the ones that they did do were, were like some collaborations, but they could have been so much better. There was this one that they did with Exhibit, the rap artist. And it's like, I don't even hate the parts that he did, actually. I thought it was pretty cool. But the refrain was so... It was like the verses were building up and building up. Like, oh boy, then the refrain must be spectacular if you're going to have this kind of build-up. And then the refrain was really wimpy and monotone and stupid and, 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 and it sounded like a very mild build-up in and of itself. It was... It was frustrating. I hate when a song is all build-up and no actual song. I, uh, there was a Linkin Park remix that is like that too. I can't think of it either. But, yeah, there's, uh, I, I, and I also hate when the intro trolls you. It's like, it sounds like it's gonna be an epic song, and then it just gets boring after the intro. Uh, it's, it's false advertising. It's like they're lying to you. Oh, this song's gonna be great! It's gonna be spectacular! Nah, nah, never mind. <laughs> I hate when that happens, seriously. Uh, okay, huge wave is approaching, and this is only the halfway point. So I gotta be able to make it through this. There's no way to really tell 
it's tense to me. It's really tense because you can't see what's coming. And you gotta just hope that the reinforcements that you already have set up are gonna be enough. If I should, but I, I'm getting another seashore almost. Okay, phew. That was close. This is gonna be tough here, but it looks like the worst is over for now. Okay, it's gonna replace the front lines here. Probably going to at the final wave let things kind of go, but I gotta make sure everything makes it up to that point. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm, I'm gonna respond to things as they come, as needed. You know, it, it's hard to even do so without. Uh, getting to see until they've already decimated some of your defenses. That's what makes these fog levels really hard. But it looks like, oh boy, more cone heads. They're gonna keep the water lanes really busy. a whole lot I can do other than uh, setting up a little pad and shirt scaredy shroom again, but I'd hate to waste it if one of the other lanes ends up needing something. I guess I'll wait until the final wave and, well, then by then though, the defenses should be able to rescue things anyway. Just gotta keep on rebuilding these sea 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 shrooms. Wanted to call them sea peas because they almost look like peas. They're round and green. They, they have their little watery roots sticking out. Pretty cute. Almost to the flag. We're almost there. I guess they're gonna wait with the football players until the final wave. Which is fine with me. Like I said, we'll probably just have to take strategic losses of our uh, final defenses. But I gotta keep this guy from getting past up. Oh, the football player's there already, after all. Well, it's close to the end, so I think this lane will be okay. Because I don't think there's gravestones in fog levels. So, I think that this lane will be okay because of the break that it has it take. So it's actually kind of lenient after all. Let's go ahead and fight him. I like to go down fighting. Oh, that scared me. I thought that something was actually in that lane for a second. I was like, no! But it's okay, it's just the flag. Okay, it looks like we're only gonna lose one land lane. Well, two, counting the one we already lost. Water might be okay. Let's see. Go, guys, go! Let's see if we put the next one in there. Yep. Ah! You know what? This might be the end. The cactus shoots spikes that can pop balloons. Balloon zombies. 
They are the ones that we cannot do anything about uh, unless we have the cactus, which we cannot afford at night. So I'm going to set up and give it a good, honest run. Try my best. Yep. It was asking about the plants that fight off balloon zombies. Let's give this a good, honest fight. Let's go down kicking and screaming. Like a maniac. <laughs> uh, that's not a very flattering scream, I'm sure. We might get lucky. We'll see. It depends on when they attack and where. We might be able to do this. At least this once. They probably... They might not come till the end. If so, then we'll have a chance. So I'm not giving up yet. Let's see what we can do. Get all these guys set up. Keep puttering away. See, we're not having a middle uh, uh, crisis here. We're just gonna have some decent sized invasions until the very end. So that's what makes me think we might be able to salvage this. some songs that have disappointed you guys. Uh, they're, like, to me, Unforgiven 3, and pretty much all of the Death Magnetic uh, Metallica album has disappointed me, because it is it suffers from dynamic compression, where they didn't mix it properly, and so everything sounds small and yet too loud at the same time. It's hard to hear a difference between quiet and loud parts of the song because they keep all of it completely at the loudest point. They were trying to make it louder, and in that effect, they made it weak. It's hard to explain. Uh, I might uh, put up a link to the phenomenon and how it's affecting a lot of modern songs and albums lately in the description of the video. But yeah, that... Uh-oh. Got one already. I heard the balloon. But uh, there's uh, someone called... I don't know, Deceiver? Decipher? Uh, who has taken it upon himself to remix the Metallica album Death Magnetic and actually repair it and make it sound a lot better. So the songs are now more listenable. Okay, now we have to just hope that the zombies come quickly enough that this lane will not get bothered anymore. Gotta just hope, keep our fingers crossed, that this lane will not be bothered anymore by balloons. I gotta protect it as much as I can in the meantime. As you saw, they just float right over everything. The only way to get rid of them is to either shoot them down or blow them away with blovers. Which we'll p probably be introduced to if we beat this level. At least it's been pretty merciful so far. They Probably because they wanted to give you time to afford the cactuses and place them all. Okay, please let the bottom lane be okay. Please let it be close enough to when it was bothered to not be bothered. Okay, it looks like it's okay. So we'll, we'll lose these two lanes. But it looks like 
looks like we will make it. Now let's see how the rest of the lanes hold up. I think we'll make it with the rest. Yep, there's the blover. Alright. It's cute. Blover blows away all balloon zombies and fog. So it has a double function. It only it's only like a one-time use thing though, and it's expensive. And it only lasts for a very short time. But yep, it's not something we can use. Oh, and we're having dolphins too. This is a double assault. This is where I think we will fall. But like always, I wanna do my best. And make just try to make it as far as I can. So let's get a move on. Get all these guys planted as fast as I can. Run just as fast as I can to the middle of nowhere. To the middle of my frustrated fears, and I swear. I'm so nervous. So nervous. <laughs> This is gonna be a toughie. And it'll probably take a while too, because it's got double, uh, double duty here on the flags. But yeah, the song Unforgiven 3 at least on the uh, raw album itself, didn't have much of the feel of the first two Unforgivens. Like, the first two shared some aspects of the riffs and, and stuff. While the third one didn't sound like it did at all. Uh, in the Decipher, Deceiver, whatever uh, mix, though, the background parts came more to the forefront, and uh, and it suddenly bared an actual resemblance to the first two Unforgiven songs. So, yeah, the the people who made the album uh, ruined their own song, and then the fact that Metallica wouldn't, you know, refuse to reissue the album and fix it. It was, you know, that was kind of the nail in the coffin for me uh, against respecting them any. I mean, I'm already guilty of, like, listening to and liking some of their songs, despite the fact that I do not like the group as a whole. Uh, like, I would never want to go to their concerts or anything. Uh, but... For some reason, I like some of their songs because they're good songs. It's just too bad who it came from, you know? Sometimes I, you know, find myself guilty of things like that. Do you guys have any guilty pleasures, too? Where you should hate something, but you don't? spite of yourself, end up liking it. I know there's plenty of things in life that that can apply to, not just music. Sometimes food, sometimes uh, people, uh, sometimes policies, things like that. up on another big wave. We'll see what happens. Okay. I really, really hope 
hope that the dolphins don't, you know, get too far past everything. And we've got ballooners. Balloony loonies. And we're not going to be able to rely on the attack gap cooldown area. Just going to have to hope that nothing attacks the top lane too much. And that they don't get ballooned again. This is, uh, uh, this battle here is just as much luck as it is skill. So not a lot more I can do other than my best. in, get nice thick troops even though we can't see them all. Just spare no expense, especially considering they're free. Just picking right on that lane on purpose. Come on, jump, jump, jump! Oh no! Aww! Dang it! No! Aww. Ah, well, <sighs> I guess this is game over, guys. I know I clicked to try again. There's a small chance that I could succeed by luck. But uh, I might uh, include a bonus video of me trying to do so. But uh, I don't know how many tries that that might take. So depending on if I can finally get past it or not, there might be one more video. But up until then, it looks like 4-4 four four is the farthest that you can make it without sunflowers or sunshrooms in Plants vs. Zombies. Well, it's been a good run. I enjoyed this challenge, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Uh, I'm gonna try to get back into Minecraft videos now. Uh, I have a few catch-up videos that I've been catching up on. I don't know if I can keep it up yet or not, but I'll certainly give it my best shot. See you later, broskies!